Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the Lanedale Capital. I've decided we're probably going to try and get the boss fit into this episode, and depending on how much time that takes, we'll probably do this kind of like last southern area that we haven't done yet, just because I find it easier to do that after the boss. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we'll do both. We'll probably leave the second boss, because it's kind of like a, a double boss fight. There's one in this building, and then you kind of... Can you see it from here? I don't know. It's like kind of here-ish. There's another boss fight room. Um... And I think I want to get the, the NPC stuff done before we actually are ready to leave the capital. So we'll clear up to the boss fight so that the, so the actual Lanedale capital is done as a little series of its own. And then we will be able to pretty much get all of the quest lines finished apart from Corin. That's pretty much it apart from Corin. There might be one other that I can think of. Oh yeah, we won't be able to get Millicent finished. So just dropping off here, um, you might recognise this is where I died to the page. I don't want to go too far around because I don't really want to fight it if I don't have to. Uh, we're using this route because we want to go down here like this. And for now, we're going to use the kind of hidden entrance on the side. You can, of course, use the front entrance if you want to, but there's just extra loot up here that we're going to want. Before we go up, though, we want to make sure we're not going to get harried by the doggies. I think there's three over here, so just be careful. Um, also, um, I guess I almost forgot to mention... The point that left on the map, I'll bring it up in a second, I just don't want to get hit by this third dog. Um, this is where there's a talisman up against the Colosseum. I'm going to leave that until we do uh, Corrin's questline. I'll bring Corrin over here, which is going to be in the next couple of episodes anyway. But if I want to get through any of this in any reasonable amount of time, spending a couple of minutes going up there just for that talisman, which isn't particularly good. Um, I just don't feel like we need it. So the talisman is the... Um, Saw a shield ritual talisman, so it's basically the opposite of the one we're already using, apart from its 10% extra defense whilst you're at full health. So it's basically going to make you more defensive against the first time something hits you. Which I guess if you really want to go like low health build, it could mean, you know, you take two hits to die, especially if you use something like bubble tier as well, or something like this. Um, I suppose you could make it so that basically most hits don't do too much damage to you. But, um, I don't know, I don't know about playing like that. So this should be looking mildly familiar because it is basically the same as Roundtable Hold. I can't remember what this area is called now, it's like Sealed Manor or something. Um, but make sure you loot this before defeating the Fire Giant, which you won't have access to yet if you're actually following the walkthrough, so there's no, no danger of that. Um, but basically if you progress too far then this place is going to get filled with ash, basically, and you won't be able to access it. So do it now, whilst we are uh, in the area, is, is what I'm going to say about that. A couple of areas to deal with while we're here as well, so let's just make sure we go around the whole outside. Uh, seedbed Curse, where we find, or would usually find, sh should I say, um, doing each himself. So I think that puts us on two. There's a third one that's quite close to us as well. We'll talk about the decisions with that in a bit. He has an ending, and you need to feed him... Eight seedbed cusses. There are nine in the game. But his ending is not trophy related, so I am not going to advise taking his ending. That should be all of it. The most annoying piece of loot to make sure that you get before dropping down is the one that's against the stairs. Where is it? I think it's this way. Yeah, down these stairs. This is the one that I always find the most annoying because you most like to drop off to when you get in it. Um, that should be the, the upper area completely looted now. Um, so yes, so basically you can feed him all of the um, death head cursors basically. And I'll show you when you can do that if you want to save them all. Obviously we're going to collect them all in the walkthrough. So if you decide you don't care about having Dung Eater as a, as a summon, as a part of kind of, you know, getting the most rewards that we can get as the walkthrough goes. Um, you know, you can just get that ending instead and get yourself a better cut, uh, different cutscene at the end. Better would be subjective, obviously. Um, so yes, we'll be talking about that once we once we have access to that, which isn't too far away, realistically. It's going to be in the next two to three episodes. Anything in here? No. Just a strange room. So yes, just, uh, yeah, there's, there's lots to say about that. I already have like a full video for the Dung Eater questline and the Celevis questline on kind of what I advise for it. Um, 
So, let's bear that in mind. Now, before we go in with the invasion, I don't think there's actually any danger with doing it, because it's not like it resets us back to any grace or anything. But if we just come through this way, we'll actually have a grace and a painting here, and we might as well do the solution to the painting as well whilst we're here. So you can tag this. Grab this. And the solution is right over in Dominula Village. So we've already been there. So we'll literally just go to the Windmill Heights, Grace. And from here... Uh, oh, it's actually facing us in the right direction. Haha. <laughs> so we're just coming over this way. Straight to the house there where we can see those ladies dancing. I don't think these are aggro, but I suppose if you want to take them out for, some, for a few extra runes. It's not the end of the world, right? But the solution is literally just going to be on the side, other side of the house. Cottage, I guess. You might call it. Very Victorian in uh, in build. I call it, actually. Or Old English. In general. Quite like it. The rough stones. Where are we? Come here. There we are. I see you, sir. Thanks for the spell. We also have another one to do. I haven't forgotten. The one from Shaded Castle, the solution is right here. But we're going to do this a little bit when I've just decided we've got a bit more health. Which hopefully shouldn't be too long. So now of course we can fast travel back to the fortified manor. So that we can continue clearing out this little bit. Uh, this quite small area is quite densely packed with loot, so... That's why it kind of gets its own episode. So now we can head on back out, we can go and deal with this invasion. Or the volcano manor. Also, I've changed my uh, outfit a little bit. I feel like we look a bit more like a uh, a posh-looking mage this way. So I kind of like it. Don't really know what the lore is here. Like what exactly is going on? I don't know. Letting that guy heal was a big mistake, really. We kind of need to get one of these down real quickly. Oh man, I couldn't avoid it. I'm gonna die. Nope. 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 One more. There we go. Yeet. <laughs> no, the nice bit done. We're almost able to complete the uh, Volcano Mana stuff now. We've got one more assassination left, but it is, I suppose, a fair amount later. Raging Wolf sets. We've got a couple of armor sets extra. And then we'll do this way next. Lots of little ways to go. What we're needing halfway to a level. That's nice. I don't know. Can you get through the other way? Really strange. So they put this lever here, and I really don't know any way to get down here early. I really don't know a way to get down here early. And you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a bit. So basically, uh, this grace that you see over this way that we've been to before, that's where we came to when we got the... Um, what's it called? Celestial D or whatever. Not Celestial... Oh, we mean, mean Agrid. Let's get out of this thing's way. Um... It's all Celestial Dew. Basically, um, you can't actually get down the lift from that direction, so I don't really know. They're going to get me, I think it is. Like, what was supposed to do with that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. Opens itself up while it's trying to come to me there. That's real good. There's a second one in here, so be careful. Where are you? Yes. Oh. You're going to suffer the same fate. Come on. It's pretty good damage, really. I have to even when it's open, that's weird. Same damage, whether it's closed or open. It's going to get me through the wall, isn't it? Come on.
Ouch. I knew we were going to do that. I'm trying to be cheeky and get you through the wall. Come on. Get around. I can't believe you've gotten yourself stuck like that. Like, sure. It's like, I'm trying to be quick and you're doing... <laughs> you're uh, foiling my plans. In any case, uh, I'm not going to like fast travel around to show you guys. But basically, if you try and come down the other way, unless there's like a point in time where it, where it unlocks, and I just haven't checked often enough to know exactly when it, when it unlocks. Um, we have to come up this lift to activate the um, portal that's up there, which we won't need to use, but we'll be using it probably later on when we get Millennia's, um, I think it's Millennia's, or it might be Moog's rune. One of them anyway. Pretty sure this is one we get to activate too. <clears throat> but most importantly, we just need to send the lift up. We technically don't need to go all the way up with it, but we will anyway. Most of the circuitry guys what I mean. And that's most of this area done. We still need to go back to the Grace, come on out the front, and then we need to do this kind of area just here. Yeah. Bit of a hiccup there, sorry about that. It starts to make me think that maybe there's going to be still two episodes left of laying down because... Boss and then the post area. Hmm. And so we've been here before. <clears throat> That's where you'd get the... I can't remember what it's called now. My, he my Healy one that I like to use. Blessed Dew Talisman, that's what it's called. So yes, real weird. I don't know. I don't quite know. Maybe there's something that I've missed. But either way, we've got all the loot and everything important, so that's uh, that's what matters. So next up, then we're going to come out this way. So we're going to fast travel back to Fortified Manor again. And as we run on back out, run on back out. Yeah, we did that side so we looted on the way back down. We came down the stairs. And that gate in front of us leads to the f second grace that we had when we came here. The Avenue Balcony. Yeah, Avenue Balcony. Uh, there's a little bit of loot on those steps, so we'll grab that in a second. Uh, we're going to clear, clear left first because there's an archer, and I think it aggro's on us pretty much straight away. No, it hasn't. That's interesting. I thought it did. Usually I have to take cover under the barn that's just to my right. But, uh... Haha! <laughs> Okay, if you want to stand there. I'm I'm willing to uh to allow for that. Ha, <laughs> fool. Dropped your guard, so you did. I don't know why that one drops a seal. Real weird. Doesn't even use that many incantations. You'd think that guy would be a real pain in the ass with those. Oh, well, being as you made it easy for us, we're still going to go through this way. Like so. Just mess with your pathing a little. That's just a pain in the ass. I think it's only a stone sword key we need to get from here. Um, we'll get it nonetheless. So we're going to come on over, jump onto this roof. Uh, is that roof? No, 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 we have to go along the dragon foot. Dragon foot. Shaped like a chicken foot. This roof is the one I want. And then across here, let me put my torch on, just not torch lantern, just so you can see a little better. But you see that, um, little strut, it's directly above my head, just there. That's what you want to aim to get onto. I find you can't actually get directly from there, but you need to land on that. Oh, I missed. Let me, uh, let me have another go. As you can see, this is a pain in the ass. I'll, I'll allow you guys to see three tries. If I fail this time, we're going to cut to the to the successful one. Um, come on. Let's go a bit further back. So, last second on here, and across to there. Oh, and I dropped off. Right, okay, let me skip. Okay, so once you've landed here, come on up to here. 
smithing stone, smithing stone, and then this should be the yeah stone sword key. So nothing essential. If you're pulling your hair out with the jump, you're not really missing out on anything that you know it's gonna really stunt your playthrough or anything. It's realistically gonna save you what like maybe four to five thousand runes if you have to buy an extra stone sword key from a store. It's fine. It's from here then. Why not full health? Yeah, I am. I couldn't quite see my uh, my red glow there. Okay, so I'm gonna clear these guys out from the rear. I'm here, sir. Oh, you're not aggroing. Are you ordered not to look backwards? Like, what? I didn't realize you were going to let me do it that easily. Pure faith of- That must be my master doing it. I love- I love being sprayed with spells. There we go. I guess that's that bit. We'll deal with all that later, after the boss. Really enough. I mean, you could deal with it now, but I don't see the need. Uh, I think there might be like a rune item in one of these barns. Don't think there's anything essential. We'll just have a quick gander. No, nothing. No, there's nothing there. Okay. I don't know why I felt like there was. Cool. So that's it with all of that. And we've got four minutes left. So let's. I guess let's call it there. There's not really anything else extra that I want to do. So next episode we're going to do with the boss. And we'll do the post-boss bit. And... Grab a... An incantation from there. Uh, depending on how long that takes, maybe we'll, maybe we'll squeeze something else in. But for now, that is most of Lindell done. As I said, very shortly, we'll be going into the... Um, Subterranean Shunning Ground so we can get hold of Dung Eater and then we're going to seriously clear out a load of NPC quests. Pretty much all of them really. Um, apart from like two or three that don't end up until we get up into this zone but everything else will be cleared up. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys are ready to finish off in Lane Dell. I'll meet you guys back at the West Capital Rampart because that's going to be the best one for clearing up towards the boss. I'll see you guys then.